How you doing guys? Welcome back to another video with InfoSec Pat. In this video, what I want to go over is OSPF. Configuring it, labbing it up, and showing you guys how to verify neighbor relationships and all that good stuff. So without further ado, let's get into it and let's resume on the desktop. Okay guys, welcome back. So this is gonna be our topology that we're gonna be using. And this might be, looks familiar, might look familiar from the HSRP lab. I pretty much was, figured I'm just gonna use the same one. I just obviously cleared out the configuration. And this one we're gonna be talking about OSPF. OSPF. Cisco lab. Okay, 2020. All right, so. Go ahead and zoom. Well, I guess we can't really zoom it in too much, but we can zoom it in like that. So first things first, we are going to, the interfaces are on the, 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 the routers, the switches, well, not the switches, the switches are, they, they don't have any SBIs. But for example, we go to switch uh, the ISP switch, uh, ISP router, sorry. And we could just show IP interface brief, right? And in there, we see the IP addresses or the IP address. So if we do show IP protocols, there's nothing running. Show IP OSPF, there's nothing running, right? So if you do show IP neighbors, nothing. And show IP routes, OSPF, nothing. Okay, perfect. So we're going to check on all the routers to see if the IP addresses are up. And configured. So for the ISP router, I configured 11.11.11.3, and with, I believe it's a 24 bit mask, but we can check that in the show running config. Yes, so gigabit one, it's a 24 bit mask, and this is the configuration for that interface right here. Okay, as you see, there's nothing else in the config. Perfect. So let's X out of this router, let's go to R1. Let's go ahead and do the same thing. We're in R1. Show IP OSPF, nothing. Show IP protocols, nothing. And show IP interface, interface brief. So same thing, we have our two interfaces, one that's going up to the router of the ISP, and then one going into our LAN, right? So let me back up a little bit. So, so we can see that here. Let's go ahead and go back. Minimize this. So router one, we have one going up to the switch up here, going up to the ISP. And then we have one going to the switch here, going to our PCs, which is right there. Uh, zoom this out a little bit so you can see it. I'm trying to see if you guys can see on that screen. All right, cool. So now let's go ahead and go back to router one. You can see that those that is the configuration and that's how it's um, lining up. Okay, so next thing we're gonna do is show run. And we can see the interfaces for gigabit 000 and the gig gigabit 001. Okay, perfect. And this is the, like I said, this is the LAN segment and this is the WAN segment, the, the WAN interface. Okay, so that's that. Now we can, let's go to R3. Okay. Show IP protocols. We have nothing and Show run and config. Let's see what we have going on here. All right, I wanna have to fix something really quick. As you see on this interface, it has standby. So this was from a previous lab for HSRP. I wanna copy this. We're gonna take this out of there. Okay, I wanna show you how to do that. It's a little bonus. Configure T, I'm gonna go into the interface, gigabit zero slash zero slash one. And I wanna negate it, so I wanna say no. Paste this, bada bing, bada boom. Do write W, WR, WR. And then let's end here. Show run and config again. Now we don't have this guy there anymore. So good. So if we do show IP route, we have just connected, okay, perfect. And now if we do show IP route OSPF, nothing. And show 
ID protocols. I want to actually to show standby. That is the command to see HSRP. Okay, I think we're uh, we're good. So now this is our topology that we were given to our boss to configure OSPF on, right? So the approach I'm going to take, and, and if you guys want to stop it right now and try to attempt this yourself, bring in an ISR router, a switch, two ISRs, you know, two more switches, and connect, you know, just exactly how I have it. Pause it now, attempt it, and then resume. And I want to walk through the the process of getting this configured. All right, cool deal. All right, perfect. So we'll start out at our. Uh, I'll start out the ISP router. All right, so. First things first, like I said, let's do show IP interface brief, my favorite command. All right, so on this ISP router, we have to create OSPF for just one network, right? So the way we do that is configure terminal and then router. And then with question mark, you can see the routing protocols that we have to configure. Today, we're going to be using open shortest path first, right? So let's do that. And then let's type the processor ID and I want to use one. Okay, fair enough, cool deal. So in here, we're gonna do network, question mark, what is the I, you know, what is the network that we want to use? I believe it's 11.11.11.0, and then we're gonna use the wildcard, uh, wildcard bits. So on a 24-bit mask, the way we write that in dotted decimal is 0.0.0.255, .0 perfect. And then the next one is area, okay? The area, we're gonna put it in a zero. This is only a single area OSPF. It's not multi-area, it's not any craziness like that, okay? So that is it for now. This is router one, or the ISP router should be configured. So OSPF, bada bing, bada boom. So now we can just do uh, OSPF interface. Here we go. We can see the interface that we have OSPF on from, for 11, 11, 11.3, 24-bit, and it's an area zero. Perfect, okay, cool. So ISP router is done. Now it's just gonna hang out and wait for its brothers and sisters and neighbors. Okay, cool deal. So let's go to R1. R1, and we can just do the same exact thing. Let's make sure, show IP interface brief, so we know what we're messing with. So on this one, what, uh, what we're gonna do is do the 192.168.1 network, or 10 network in this sense. Actually, let me have to change that in my notes. I don't know why I have that as dot one. Um, let me actually see something real quick. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me make sure. I'm trying to make sure what I, yeah, it's dot 10. I don't know why I had that one on, on my notes. All right, so sorry, sorry, guys, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, cool deal. So on router one, we're gonna do configure terminal, same 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 uh, process, router, OSPF, one, okay? But on this one, whoops. On this one, what we're gonna be doing is putting in the network that this is connected to. So here we're gonna be do, doing the 11.11.11.0 uh, network and then the 192.168.10 network. Fair enough? Okay, cool. So the network, 192.168, I can type, oh my god, 10.0 with a 24-bit, 20, oh, member, member, wildcard, wildcard, wildcard. I remember I used to love getting my wildcards in, uh, in my, uh, I think it's the wildcards, in my baseball cards, whatever, upper deck or whatever they, they used to be. I don't know, maybe that shows I'm, I'm old. I look young, but I'm, I'm, I'm old. Um, okay. Cool deal. So that's that one network. And then the next, the next network is the 11.11.11.0. Okay, cool. So 11, whoop, 10, 11, type in 10. That zero, same thing. Area zero, right? Because we want to have these guys all in the same thing. And the do WR is saying I want to write the, the write the config. I want to save the config. And do, because since I'm not in uh, privilege mode. I'm in a configure. Uh, I'm in a configure router mode, and that's the reason why I had to do do. And look at this. Bada bing, bada boom. I'm already getting adjacencies. See that process one, neighbor, and this is dot one. So technically, 
Let's go ahead and try to ping. 11.11.11.3. One, one dot, one, one dot, one, one dot, Look at that. Cool. We're in action. Did we? Oh, shoot. I think we missed. Oh, I think we got both, right? Show IP OSPF. OSPF neighbors. Cool. Cool. We're, we're getting somewhere. All right. Fair enough. So let's do show IP interface brief because I always forget everything. All right. So we have show show running config. OSPF, where are you? Right here. Bada bing, bada boom. So those two are in there. Okay, hopefully you guys are following so far. And then, um, let's do show IP route OSPF. Okay, cool, it's, it's nothing yet. So, so now let's go ahead and um, configure router three. Uh, okay, I already did the show IP interface brief right there. Show IP protocols, nothing yet. Show IP OSPF. Nothing yet. Okay, cool. So this is router three now. So let's do configure terminal. And we're going to do router OSPF one. All right, because that's the processor ID. And then this is router three. So the networks are going to be 192.168.10 uh, and then 11.11.11.11. Oh, 11.11.11.0. A lot of 11s. Okay, so network 11.11.11.0 area 0 right and then network 192.168.10.0.0.0.255 area 0 cool cool so that's pretty much how we how we configure and you can see we have adjacencies loading we'll give that a few minutes and we can do this we can write the config we show ip protocols now we can see the routing protocol that's running is ospf and let's see the router id is 192.168.10.3 this is good and the routing for networks the, the, the networks that we're routing is only the two networks because it's a small topology, which is 11.11.11.0 and then 192.1 see it dot 10.0. See that? Okay. So technically, let's see if we can go from PC1 up to the ISP router. Okay. Let's see if we can ping that. So let's go here, terminal, IP config. Okay, so let's go to ping one 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 dot three. Let's give it a second to ARP. Hopefully, it doesn't make me look silly. Did I break something. Hypertracer sometimes is a little slow. Maybe I broke something. I don't know. Maybe I broke something. Let's go. We'll have to go check. Troubleshoot. All right, so let's see what's going on here. All right, so whoop, I don't want to do that. Uh, let's go ahead and go to router one. Show IP route. All right, uh, let's see. Oh, show IP OSPF. All right, and that, okay, that, that is the right. Let's see if we can ping the gateway. Maybe I have some, let me go check my IP settings. Oh, that's why. See, troubleshooting 101. Make sure your gateway is correct, All right? And like I said, this was a, a lab from the HSRP. So HSRP uses a, um, a virtual IP for the gateway. So if one router goes down, it picks up the secondary router, but you can watch that video if you want to check that out. But this is cool. I'm glad this happened. I wasn't I wasn't planning this. So now let's go back. Let's go ahead and ping 192.168.168.10.1. Okay, I can we can ping the gateway. That's a good sign, right? Now let's see if we can get out to the internet, right? Let's go ahead and see if we ping 
There it is. Hopefully there it is. There it is. Cool. Let's ping again. Bada bing, bada boom. So there we are. OSPF has been configured. Let's go ahead and PC2. It's probably the same problem. Let's go ahead and fix the IP. That one. Okay. Cool deal. I don't know why I X that out, but my bad. All right, so do it IP config. Ping the gateway for, uh, for testing, connectivity. Perfect. And then I'm gonna do one more thing on the other machine and this machine too. Uh, let's go ahead and ping. Remember, OS, OSCP. Um, OSPF is the shortest path, right? So we're gonna see how it's traversing through the network, right? So 11.11.11.3. Bada bing, bada boom, bada boom, bada bing, 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 bang. All right, let's probably do ARP. So let's go ahead and open this one again. And PC2. And let's do a trace route. Right? 11.11.11.3. Boom. Let's do the same thing here. And I want to explain that in a second. Oh, no, trace route. Three. Boom, bada bing, bada bing, bada bing, bada boom. All right, so let's look at the topology. So the first hop that it's tracing through is R1, right? So it's going through R1, uh, R1, and then going up to, oh, it's the same thing, going up to the, the ISP router. So how this is going, as you've seen through the path, which this is awesome, check this out, let's actually, do my favorite, move this whole thing over. Oh, maybe you guys can't see because my, my big head is in the way. And now let's go ahead and bring this guy back over, PC1. All right, so let's go ahead. And PC1 is on the left side, right? So let's go ahead and do this, right? And we're going through router one up to the, the, the ISP router, right? So from PC2, it's not going to router three and going up. It's actually taking the route that's going over the switch to the to the router up to the ISP router as you've seen. Let's go back here. PC2. And let's do the same thing. And you see that? It's probably because of the cost and all that stuff. But that is how you configure OSPF. And uh, hopefully it's been very informative for you guys and it's educational and you guys are learning something. So if you want to copy this topology, take a screenshot, configure it the same exact way. And, um, and you know, just for a bonus, if you guys want to know where to get these icons so they don't look like, you know, if you open up a regular, um, for an example, we go to, we got a regular router. And if I click on here, I can change, customize the icon, browse, and then I have my documents, and then I have an packet tracer icons. And I could put the mask, the anonymous mask. And now this can be my router. That's how I do like the rogue DHCP servers. I put this bad guy so, um, so we can uh, do, some, do some cool stuff. But that is it. That is OSPF. Hopefully, this guy, hopefully guys, it's been helpful for you guys. I really appreciate everything, like I always say. And um, if you guys know what bada bing is, bada bing, bada boom. Um, Look it up, <laughs> look it up and it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a unique place in New Jersey. But um, again, thank you so much. If you enjoyed it, please like, subscribe, share with your friends and family and let's grow together. Happy 2020, thank you.